got a couple more updates for you today and the right behind me let's have a look one of the things i've noticed is on these alderman peas i'm sure you can see what i'm looking at it's only been a couple of days or so since they flowered and we've already got peas growing and they're above that obelisk now and we're getting even more flowers on them but it's not until you start looking you realize how many are actually growing on here there's quite a few so that's good news on a sunday morning it also looks like we're getting ready to harvest a couple more lettuce little gems we've got a couple of bad leaves on the side there but we can take those off but you can see it's starting to art up now and so are those really good to see that those alderman peas are now starting to produce pods everything is now starting to grow that little bit quicker due to this weather we're having and i also noticed this morning this plant that is a saffinia but due to all that sun after all that rain it's now started to get quite big it's only in a two litre pot so I want to move this into something bigger so it can fill out even more. So that's one job for today. We also need to keep his eyes on these strawberries because they're now starting to produce these runners. And that's your brand new plants for next year, already sorted. Just pop that into a little plant pot. And then at the end of the season, you just cut it away from the main plant. And that's your brand new strawberry plant. And we have got quite a few on here we've got the same thing happening with this container there's another plant and another so it looks like we won't be buying fresh strawberry plants next year because we'll already have plenty i'm just going to drill some extra holes in this container i want to make sure everything has got plenty of drainage now Now we've done that, we'll get us composting. I'm going to add some slow release fish blood and bone to that. That'll keep this plant going for quite a while. Now let's take a look at what's happening. Plenty of roots but not that bad, so that's great. I'm just gonna free that up, as we always do. And we'll get that seated. That's just gone below that rim, which is perfect. And that's just a case of backfilling. And get that firmed in as we go Gonna add a little bit more to that just to bring it to where i need it and there we go it already looks twice size just for moving it into a bigger container and i'm sure that's now going to start to really fill out since we've got quite a lot of strawberry plants that are definitely showing willing that's another little plant ready i noticed in garden I've still got another two and they've not been potted on yet but this one although it is starting to look a little bit yellow so I think it's definitely had too much water it's already got a little strawberry growing on it so I think we'll do it a favour and get it moved on and I've got one of these left that's one of those balcony planters you just hang it on top fill it with compost get your plants in and they look really nice we've got quite a few at the front of this caravan that you'll have seen already and it's just got a full row of petunias and these are brilliant especially as you go into summer because you can take the bottom off it when it's throwing it down 
and it'll just continuously keep draining which is really good for us plants but on hot days through summer you can reattach that and it creates a little reservoir in bottom so it can hold water and stop your plants drying out too quickly so a brilliant idea and that's what I'm going to use for these two little plants hopefully we can get a few more strawberries so once again fresh compost and a bit of feed added let's see how these ones are doing as well the roots aren't too bad on these but it is very wet on bottom so we're definitely doing it a favour by moving it so just make an all and we'll get that in as always no deeper than you took it out and this one's pretty much same as well a quick easy job once again and now we've got another two strawberry plants on go meanwhile at the back of this caravan as cauliflower plants are doing really well we keep them here at direct sun for half a day to stop them bolting but they've really put some extra growth on there there's no signs of a little cauliflower in its centre yet but I'm sure it's coming we've got a couple of those on go but there's also no slug damage whatsoever and I think because I'm putting everything in containers with brand new compost that's why we're not really seeing any which is brilliant for us but also we've got lots of pigeons around here and for whatever reason they don't seem to be bothering with these cauliflowers either we're also getting ready to harvest these spring onion tops once again these have really come on in just a week but it does seem that that's working we've got things up front that's in full sun for pretty much most of the day but then as brassicas we're leaving at the back of van because sometimes if they get too hot that'll cause them to bolt and so far that seems to be working for us so there we go very quick easy job but now this plant's got a new lease of life and it's not going to be long for these flowers are hanging down the sides of this container so that is this repotted saffinia we've got as peas aren't we and i've noticed lots more buds on those french beans so it looks like everything is starting to kick in at the same time and if you're interested in seeing how these plants get on plus many others then please hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and i'll see you next time enjoy the rest of your weekend and take care